friends, my name is Tushar and today I'm going to talk about string combination or in other words generating all the possible subsets of elements in the string. We'll also assume that there is repetition of characters in the string. So for example, if I have a string A, A, B, C, these are the 12 possible subsets of the elements in the string. An empty set A, 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 B and so on. So, the, so we are going to use recursion to solve this problem. The idea behind this algorithm is very similar to what we had in the string permutation. If you have not watched my video on string permutation, I highly recommend you to also watch that video. So next, let's see how this algorithm works. First thing we're going to do is take all unique characters in our input string and their count. So for string A, A, B, C, we have three unique characters A, B, C and their counts are 2, 1 and 1. Then I'm going to take an output array whose length is same as the input array. And this output array is going to store our intermediate results. The way we're going to fill this output array is that at every level of recursion, at every depth of recursion, we're going to fill the corresponding position in the output array. So for the zeroth level of recursion, we're going to fill up the zeroth element in output array. For the first level of recursion, we're going to fill first element and so on. So here, we're going to start from the leftmost element, look for the first character whose count is not zero, add that character into the output array depending on the depth of the recursion, decrement its count and then go again into the recursion. When you go into the recursion, next time you start looking for the next character whose count is not zero but from where we left in the previous recursion. So notice how this is from, this is different from string permutation where we start from the leftmost element looking for the first available character. In here, we're going to start from the, from the position where we left last time in the recursion. So we keep doing that till we reach the rightmost element and then we keep uh, printing the out, keep printing the elements of this output and then we are going to backtrack and while backtracking we are going to restore the count. Also it really helps if you visualize recursion as a tree. So that is what we are going to do next with the help of this example A, A, B, C. So starting from the leftmost element, we are going to look for the first character whose count is greater than zero. So that character is A. So first thing we do is we put that A into this output array. Since we are at the zeroth uh, level of recursion, we will put it in the zeroth element of the output array. And then I'm going to print the contents of this output array till this, uh, till the zeroth uh, point, zeroth index. So I print A. And then we are going to go into the recursion from here. So in the recursion, I'm going to pass a value zero because the index of A is zero, saying that look for the first available character from index zero onwards. And we're going to decrement the count of A because we used one instance of A. So it will look something like this 1, 1 and 1. So again starting from this index 0, we're going to look for the first available character whose count is greater than 0. So that's again A. So we're going to put that into this output array. Then I'm going to print the contents of this array till index 1. So we'll have A, A. And then we are again going to go into the recursion. So again, I'll say that look for, I'll pass an index zero, which is index of A, saying that look for the first available character from index zero. And we are going to decrement the count of A. So A, B, C, zero, one, one. So now we're looking for first character from index zero whose count is greater than zero. So A is not that character, B is that character. So first thing we do is we put B into this output array, then print the contents of this output array till index two. So A, A, B. Then go into the recursion again. So A, B, C. And this time we are going to pass the index of B, which is one, saying that look for the first available character from index 1 onwards. And 
we are going to decrement the count of B because we used one instance of B. So starting from index 1, we are looking for the first character whose count is greater than 0. So that character is C. So I'm going to put the uh, C into this output uh, in this output array and then print the contents of this output array. So A, A, B, C. And then in here, I'm going to go again into the recursion saying that passing the value 2 saying that look for the first character whose count is uh, greater than 0 since 2 and there is no such character available so at this point of time we are going to backtrack so when we backtrack we reach this particular level of recursion so in here we have already reached the rightmost end of uh, rightmost end of C so then there is nothing more to explore so we are going to backtrack even more and reach this level of recursion so while backtracking you can think that we are removing this characters from the array so we are here now when we went to the recursion last time we picked this B so now going forward we are going to look for the next available character after B whose count is greater than 0 so that character is C so first thing we do is we put C into this output array print the contents of this output array till the second index so A A C and then again go into the recursion so this time I'm going to pass 2 a 0 B 1 C 0 so since we used one instance of C we decrement the count of C and count of C becomes 0 and we're going to pass this index 2 saying that look for the first available character from index 2 onwards so there is no available character from C onwards so there is nothing to do so then we are going to backtrack here and this has also reached the rightmost end so then we are going to backtrack at this level here. So again, while backtracking, think of it like we are removing these characters from the output array. So then, last time we went into the recursion, we went from A. So now we are going to go into the recursion from B. So next available character after A, which is B. So here, we are going to have... Uh, so first thing we do is we put b into this uh, output array and then the print the contents of this array so a b and then go into the recursion so a b c 1 0 1 and we're going to pass this index 1 saying that look for the first available character from index 1 onwards and we're going to decrement the count of b because we used 1 b then looking then starting from B or index 1, let's look for first available character. So first available character uh, since B is C. So then we're going to first put C here. Then print the contents of this array. So A, B, C. And then go into the recursion again. So A, B, C and 1, 0, 0 and we are going to pass index 2 saying that look for the first available character from index 2 onwards since that's the index of C and we also decrement the count of C so here there are no available characters since, in, uh, since index 2 since uh, 2 is the last element in this array uh, there, so then we backtrack we reach this point so here also we have reached the rightmost end so then we backtrack even more and reach this level again so now we'll also assume that we are removing this from this output array. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look for the next available character since B and there is one more character since B uh, and that is C. So then what we're going to do is we're going to first put C into this output array, print till here, so AC and then go into the recursion. So we are going to pass 2 because 2 is the index of C and we are going to pass A, B, C and 
one, one, zero. So in here, we're going to say that look for the first available character since C. There is no since this index 2, which is C. So there is no available character after C. So there is not much to do. So we are again going to backtrack here. So now, as you can see, we have reached the rightmost end in this level of recursion. So then we're going to backtrack even more. And while backtracking, I'm going to remove the elements from my output array. So then, last time we went into the recursion, we started from A. So this time, we're going to start from B. So we're going to also remove this element. So this time, we're going to start from index 1. So I'm going to pass index 1. I'm going to put B into this 0th position of my output array. Print the contents of this output array. And then go into the recursion A, B, C. So 2. Since we use this one instance of B, so two, zero, and one. And I'm going to say that look for the first available character since index one whose count is greater than zero. So B is not that character, C is that character. So then we are going to go again into the recursion. First thing we do is we put C into this output array, print the contents of this array, and then go into the recursion again. So A, B, C, 2, 0, 0, and we're going to pass index 2 saying that look for the first available character since index 2. So there is no available character since index 2, so we're going to backtrack here. And here also we have reached the rightmost end, so we're going to backtrack to the top level. And we're going to keep deleting this element from the output array. And then last time we went into the recursion, we started from B. So this time we're going to start from C. So first thing we do is we put C into this output array, print the contents of this output array, and then go into the recursion again with A, B, C, 2, 1, and 0. And I'm going to pass index 2 saying that look for the first available character since index 2. So here, there are no more characters since index 2, so we are going to backtrack to this level, and here also we have reached the rightmost end. So at this point of time, all of our recursion will end, and these are the contents of my, these are the final output results, or all the possible subsets for this string AABC. So the time complexity for this algorithm will be exponential, so O of 2 raised to n, where n is the size of this uh, string, and the space complexity will be O of n. So next, let's look at the code for this algorithm. The function here is combination. It takes in an input a char in array might have duplicate characters. So first thing we do is we uh, get unique characters out of this input array and their count. So this map logic is pretty much doing that. So at the end of this, all this logic, what will have the string array will have all the unique array will have their count at the corresponding position. And then we're going to initialize our output array whose length is same as the input array. And then we call this combination, which is this method. It takes in our input, uh, our uh, unique input array, the position which is zero, the output array, and then the length, which is also zero. Length is where we are in the output array. So initially we're going to print output and length. So length, since length is zero, we are going to uh, print nothing. And this is for the empty subset. Then we are going to start our for loop starting from i0 because position is 0. So count of 0 which is this here is 1. So we don't go into this if condition. So we go here. First thing we do is we put at the output since we are at the 0th depth of the recursion we're going to put our input i and input i is a. So output of uh, 0 should be a and then we decrement the count and then we go into the recursion. So after the 0 this is how it looks like. So we go in the top, uh, we decrement the count of A, we put A into this output array, we increment the length, and then we print, first thing we do in after the call is we print A. till uh, And since our output just has one, we're gonna print A. And then we again, we're gonna go into this for loop, and this time my position is going to be, uh, this time I'm going to pass the same position, so position is zero. So count of zero is zero, so we continue and we look for our i becomes one. Count of one 
is uh, count of one is one. So we don't go into this if condition. We come here, we put B here because that's what it is at that location. We decrement the count of B and again go into the recursion. So this is how it looks like. So now my output, uh, now my output array has A, B. So that's what I print here. And then I go into the recursion. Go into the recursion with a value of I as one. So position is one. So uh, we uh, now count of one is zero. So we continue. So now I value of I becomes two and count of two is not zero. So we again put two into our output array, decrement its count and go into the recursion. So this is how it looks uh, now. So now we print ABC and this is my output array. Then we, uh, our I in this call is two. So uh, position is two. So I starts with two in this, in this recursion level. So count of zero is, a uh, count of uh, two is zero. So we continue. So now my I becomes is, uh, greater, is equal to input length. So we are done with this for loop and we return back into the second level of the recursion. So once we return back, the second level of the recursion is also done. So we end up at the first level of the recursion. So at the first level of the recursion, first thing we do is we, uh, we find the next character after C. So put C into our output array and decrement the count of C and then go into the recursion. And that's when we print AC. And now our C is also used. So we are going to backtrack from here to here and from here back to the top level. So after we are done doing all this, we are back to this top level recursion and my i becomes one. Count of one is not zero. So we put i uh, in the output, we put, uh, we put b because we are at the zero, because length is zero and we are at the zeroth level of recursion and decrement its count. And then we again go into this combination function. So b, and then uh, we are going to uh, start, our new position is going to start from one. Now count of one is zero because we decremented the count. So then output, uh, then uh, we continue. So our I becomes uh, two and now count of two. So our output will now have C at the length one. And then we decrement and go into the recursion again. So this is how it looks like now count of C zero B zero and we print BC and then uh, this will all be done. And now we have reached end of the I for this level of recursion. So we backtrack to this point and we are done with this level. So we'll backtrack to this point and now our I will be now our I will be two and we'll be uh, our length will be zero. So first thing we do is we put uh, two is one. So what we do is we put uh, at the zero uh, position in the output or we put C and then go into the recursion and after that there is an end and we also print C and we have reached the end so there is nothing to do so we backtrack and at this point we are done and this is the subset which we get. So this is all I have to talk about the subset problem. Please like this video, share this video, comment on this video, check out my Facebook page and check out my GitHub link. Thanks again for watching this video.